having fun, kid? Nah. Who said that? Attempting to destroy public landmarks is a violation of C-64. I wasn't trying to destroy it. Take your demerit. If mom is a hidden stash of booze like dad says, that may be my only hope of getting my hands on some contraband. Okay, okay. Welcome to Soup Mo, where soup is just... Oh, it's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech, was that Jennifer? Well, A, it's none of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more, yeah. Okay, now this timeline is really pissing me off. You and Jennifer? Really? Oh, is the poor little nerd jealous? Well, yeah, and a little disgusted. That's probably the soup. You better treat Jen with respect, Leech. Hey, I got nothing but respect for Jennifer. Respect for her eyes, for her hips, the way she wriggles when she... Hey! Now, that dork that let her get away... There's a loser that I got no respect for. You got a cold or something? Ugh, oh, it's allergies. I swear there's a dog hanging out around here somewhere. A dog? Yeah, and the stupid mutt keeps trying to steal my free samples. You sure there's a dog around here? Listen, smart boy, there's only two things I'm allergic to. Dogs and disco, and I don't hear no chicka bow wow, do you? No. Then it's a dog. What's on the menu? Soup. Just soup? And more. What kind of soup you got? Uh, scrolle... Rivellini? Yeah, that's right. Some things never change. What falls under the more category? We got neat loaf. It's made with textured wheat protein. Uh, no thanks. What else falls under the more category? Well, there's the hum burger. It's made from pressed roasted hummus. Do you have any real meat back there? Define real. I'm afraid to ask, but what other non-soup food do you have? Anything edible? Well, we have these pea and liver with soy cheese hot dogs. They're new, and we're offering free samples. You want one? Where are the free samples? Here. I keep him behind the counter. Oh, God. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I, I can't finish this. Not my problem. What are those things? Those are the liver and peas with soy cheese hot dogs. Ew. You and me both, brown noser. Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. There's a D.O.G. running around town, and he keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jeez, McFly, relax. They're fresh. Mostly. About this dog, what's he look like? Beats me. He's a smart little S.O.B. He only comes around when my back is turned. Then how do you know it's a dog? You can smell them? Allergies, dimwit. See ya. Smell you later. Hey! Hey! There's that mangy! <laughs> 
Go get him, McFly! He's gotta be hiding in here somewhere. Stay put now, boy, wherever you are. Not a sign of him. It would look better blue. Now we're in business. I outsmarted you, didn't I? Ah, oh, don't be like that, Einie. Einstein, is that your name in this timeline too? Huh, guess not. Look, Einie, I've got a treat for you. Atta boy, now hold still. See, I'm not such a bad guy, right? <gasps> whoa, whoa, okay. I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. Huh? Well, what is it, boy? Down! Sit! Play dead! Uh, Officer Parker, subdue that beast at once! Einstein, sit! Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen! Wait, I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. You what? That's right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of statute 357K. Parker, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, wretched beast. Don't worry, Einie. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. Now stay out of trouble, unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. Check this out. What? You swiped your big brother's guitar? Is that supposed to impress me? It's not my brother's. It's mine. Yeah, sure. And you'd play it for me. Only you don't have an amp. Oh, yeah, that's right. Pathetic. What is it now? You and Leech, Jennifer? 
Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Yeah, I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm gonna be honest, the ukulele has to go. I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? I'd give you two and a half. But first you gotta prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? I was born ready. You got a guitar? Never leave home without it. Hold on. You can knock on my door anytime. Hold it, we got company. McFly, what's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him, there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You wanna go prove it? The Ring of Rock? <laughs> Don't crush him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. McFly. That was, that was, that was totally awesome. What can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you broke my head, Stock. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait, I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hooliganism! Delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number. Jennifer! Daddy! 476D! Open mouths? And tongues! You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on. Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble. Or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall.
Mom? Is it just me, or does Hill Valley feel really strict today? Some might even call it stifling. But you didn't hear that from me. I found a stray dog near Supmo. Oh my, is he dangerous? No, no, he's shaggy. I mean, friendly. And, and then Edna and Officer Parker took him away. Oh, that's a shame. Do you think he'll be okay? Edna Brown may not be a dog lover, but she's not a monster. The dog is probably on a train to Utah. Utah? All good dogs go to Utah. All right, all right, let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. I can do this all day, kid. So can I. I can do this all day, kid. So can I. Mom? Mom, are you, uh, drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom, it's just that Dad mentioned... Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad, Mom! Knock it off, you two! Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner! I have a job to do here, you know. Lorraine. No. Lorraine, I'm just trying to look out for you. You know the kind of trouble we can get into if you're drinking again. George, I wouldn't be so on edge if you weren't suffocating me all the time. Was that an admission? An admission of how smothered I am by you? E. Brown Industries. That's hopeful. Ah, uh, what happened? What the heck am I looking at? Yes. Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin! Uh, <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors and... Oh. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this.
This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Well, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me! Yeah, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that? That booze? Nowhere? Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Could we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Now, keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. McFly! Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Geez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Well, Marty, what's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it, young Mr. McFly? is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps. The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, Let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. I always knew your goody two-shoes A-plus student act was too good to be true. Come in, citizen. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, president of the Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full-ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Portman Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is... What happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc. What happened to you? Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? 
Whatever. Let's get through this nonsense so I can set you straight. You'll set me straight? Explain. This whole crazy world you've created, it's totally mental. There's all these stupid rules and everybody's acting all weird. My dad's turned into this creepy snoop. Mom's completely pathetic. And Jennifer's kind of scary. And Biff! It's like he's a zombie or something. And it's all basically your fault. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes! You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes! A cry for help, as it were. Yes! No, wait. Tell me, Martin. Is your mother on the sauce again? Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well-adjusted. Okay, they didn't start out that way, but that's where your time machine comes in. Time machine? Yeah. Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? Well, just for the hell of it, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because? Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. No! I, I mean, yes! What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up. Everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other. When you were 18. I'm Michael Corleone. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. No, this is the alternate reality. My reality is the real reality. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social condition. Yeah, you don't understand. No, I don't understand you, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Um... Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your ma your memory. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? I... uh... bizarre fantasy life. Go on. Proceed. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog? Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do, I, I do recall something of a sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. There wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Stop trying to confuse me! 
My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. So look it up. But you know better, right? Emmett? I... I... Wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitani. The scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland. My scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? Me? I think it is. What? It's me, and you, the other you. It is me, and you. But how? Michael? It's impossible. No, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I... Am I happy there? Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe... My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Hedna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you, Sonny. Doc. Kindly address me as your honor. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I, every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back with proof. Wants proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Dad! Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Oh, whoa, 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 take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually ah. ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? What's the last thing you remember? 
I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... My tapes. My tapes! What happened to my tapes? Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just... Empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... Who could have done this to me? Who stands to lose if those tapes get out? Everybody who's badmouth Citizen Brown when they didn't know a camera was on them. But that's half the people in town. No, I'm guessing this was a lone agent. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. Let's get out there and start shaking people down. We can make them talk. And before you know it, the authorities would get involved and we'd both be in trouble. No thanks. There's gotta be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? Six months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... You know, your time is valuable. I would hate for you to have to redo all that work. You said you needed the tapes. It's uh, the principle of it. You know, if we let the thief get away with his crime, it sets a bad example for other thieves. You said you needed the tapes. I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was going to furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. And I was in his office, just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring stray dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with Mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well... History's changed. Prove it. Read him and weep. The merits, but... It was the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh! You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh... There go our privileges. No, wait, I, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I, I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours. Maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out of Dad. it. Dad. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... Think of your family. I am. And I don't want to see my family relocated to Sector X with all the other hopeless cases. Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. And what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course! Gotta cover all bases. Now help me figure out which monitor I'm on.
Oh, wait, uh, never mind. Hello? Let me get this straight. You captured this whole attack on tape? Of course! Surveillance is what I do! Why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, son. Stop dawdling and help me track down that feed. Try flipping the switches. There, that looks like us. So the surveillance tape must be on... This VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see... I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Oh, it's Biff! But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a... Kitten. Huh? huh? I can't understand it. That's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would wait, never... Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. I knew this zoom and enhanced feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Can you zoom in anymore? X11? You know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine! Don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. You have to go and beat me to the punch. That's right. You two sort things said. out. I've got some business to attend to. I'm more together than I've been in months, George. For your information, I haven't had a drink. Oh, settle down there, fella. You beat up my dad. Do we have a problem here, citizens? No, no, officer. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we can work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's. Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. But I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. <laughs> See? If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? That's strange. I, I don't remember. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished giving some leftover baloney to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? Yeah. She wanted to run a, a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. So the last thing you remember before my dad got beat up is Edna fiddling with your watch? Yeah, that does sound pretty bad, doesn't it? Biff, your watch. Does X-11 mean anything to you? X-11? Is that a new band or something? I don't go in for that new hippity-hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I could barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? I've got a few more questions, Biff. All right, Martin. Biff, you're what? Okay, that's weird.
What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Did you attack my dad? Mm -hmm. Now we're getting somewhere. Why'd you attack my dad? Mm -hmm. You must have been hypnotized. Who put you up to this? Mm -hmm. Guess that'll have to wait until after I get the tape. Where's my dad's tape? The decycling bin? Could you do me a favor and go get my dad's tape? Hey, Mr. Tannen. What's up? Is that McFly kid bothering you? Hey, you can't go in there! Hey! Oh. Uh. Holy smokes. W what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Well, here goes nothing. Gosh, ma'am, did I do something wrong? Did I do something? Mr. Tannen, I put a lot of work into honing you as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive headfirst into the decycling bin? Did I do all that? Lord, I thought your father was dim. No, really, I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch. Then, blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. McFly? <laughs> McFly. Strickland. Oh, hi, Martin. Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannen, please restrain our guest. Uh... Stop! Stop! Oh no. <laughs> Come on, Biff, step out of it! Biff, isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? Huh? Tannen! Focus! Uh... Hey! Look over there! It's Beer! Beer? What's going on? Biff? Howard Tannen! Obey your programming! Ah, ah. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program, I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. I think Martin will make a knife. Look! Girly mags! Boobies! Where am I? Tannen! I didn't go behind my namby-pamby husband's back so you could wallow in your vices. Uh, oh. uh, Biff, aren't those your favorite cigars? Cubans! Tannen, listen to me! Uh, babes. Uh, booze! Mommy? Tannin! Get up, you useless slacker! Come on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. A break? You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. 
Maybe, but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tapes so I can- You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my husband's. No. No! Edna! Doc? Emmett! What are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tanner. Doc, you gotta stop her. She... Silence! Okay. I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But... Go home and wait for me. Fine. Doc. Ah! Father, what have I done? Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This hill valley may be a little messed up. Okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? Ah! Enough wallowing! What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Maybe, but maybe not. What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look! You can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. Take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world! Ha <laughs> ha! Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! Can we bring Einie along? The dog, yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Woohoo! Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. What is it, Einie? McFly. Yeah. Hey, Biff. You okay? 
Yeah, I'm okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know? So you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Ah. I hope I don't run out of rock. Down, Biff. I'd stay. All right. McFly. Oh, crap. All right, McFly. Time to race the music. Face. It's face the music, you idiot. Tiny, sick him! Place your bets. What the? Let's get out of here, Iny. Sorry I took so long. Biff came around and jumped me. I totally laid him out with the old ruler. Martin McFly. Edna? It's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Uh, Doc. My husband is in a better place. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. Ah, no! Ah! Here's the real story. I'm a Marty McFly from an alternate timeline. Edna, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my muse. I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. There is no future for us.